Assalamu alaikum this is Dr Hasna and today we are continuing the series of your abdomen we are finally touching our viscera's right and today what we're going to study is the liver before i get started with the video to all those who haven't subscribed to my channel yet uh, i make an at me a piece of cake and i would appreciate if you could click that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on Let's go ahead and talk about the liver. Now, what is the liver exactly? It is this really large gland located in your right hypochondrium uh, area of the abdomen, and it is important for many functions like metabolism, synthesis of bile, and even it stores fats, glycogen, and it detoxifies substances and excretes them out of your body. So liver is a very important organ. Beneath the liver you can see this organ called the gall bladder right here. This is also important because it secretes bile and bile is responsible for digesting various food substances. The liver is located in your right hypochondrium and it also occupies some part of your epigastric region and somewhat extends into your uh, left hypochondrium, all right? And it lies directly beneath the diaphragm. Literally the diaphragm most of its surface is covered by the diaphragm so basically your liver overall in an overview it is divided into a diaphragmatic surface which is completely covered by the diaphragm and a surface right here the visceral surface which is going to be lying in relation to the various viscera of the abdominal organs right? uh, the diaphragmatic and the visceral surface are divided from each other by this well demarcated border called the inferior border of the liver all right, this is a well, the most well demarcated border. Apart from this, there are more surfaces, but they are separated by ill-defined rounded borders. All right, we'll talk about them in a while. Uh, we are going to draw a liver and from the anterior side, and I'm going to draw the same liver from its backside. So guys, before you find the structure very complicated, I want you to understand a few rules, right? As a general rule, you're going to divide your liver into two lobes. So basically your liver is divided into two anatomical lobes and these lobes are divided by a couple of fissures now what are these fissures remember one thing this is the complete anterior surface of the liver all right in the anterior surface of the liver the fissure of the falciform ligament is lying so you can see this fissure right here is the falciform ligament fissure which lies a bit right to the median plane this is the first fissure that is anteriorly and superiorly dividing the liver into two lobes all right and posteriorly there are two fissures that further divide the liver into these two lobes uh, these fissures you can see over here this fissure right here is known as the fissure for the ligamentum venosum which used to be a remnant of your ductus venosus uh, inferiorly we have this fissure called the ligamentum teres fissure or the round ligament of the liver's fissure right posteriorly what did we just draw we drew from here we uh, brought the fissure for the ligamentum teres inferiorly going all the way to become the fissure for ligamentum venosum above right so this is somewhat a division of the liver into a left lobe and into a right lobe all right i hope that makes sense now let's talk about the surfaces of the liver this liver has five surfaces in total right uh, this is the superior surface the anterior surface it has a posterior surface a inferior surface and finally a right surface uh, let's talk about them a little bit so the anterior surface has nothing uh, huge happening except for this falciform ligaments fissure uh, being seen over here very prominently right and superiorly this uh, also is the uh, falciform ligament see it's going ahead to become the coronary ligament and posteriorly you can see that right and left lobes have been divided right uh, let's talk about the right lobe first in the right lobe your most important structures lie let's talk about the posterior surface surface of your right lobe in the posterior surface of the right lobe what you will see is a lobe called the caudate lobe c a u d a t e the caudate lobe which lies right here you can see over here this is the caudate lobe all right and uh, in the inferior surface its counterpart right here is known as the quadrate lobe all right Caudate lies superiorly because C comes before Q. So caudate lobe is this superiorly and quadrate is inferiorly. And the caudate is lying on the posterior surface of the liver. Quadrate is lying on the inferior surface of the liver. Between the caudate and quadrate lobe is a transverse fissure you can see right here which contains your important structures entering and exiting the liver. This important structure is known as the porta hepatis, which lies right between the two lobes. 
Now let's talk about the quadrate lobe. The quadrate lobe you can see is related to the right. On the right side, it has this groove for the inferior vena cava. Obviously, the inferior vena cava is shown here on the liver. This is demarcated by a groove for the inferior vena cava. So on the right of the quadrate lobe lies the groove for the IVC. I hope that makes sense. To the left lies what? You guessed it right. It's the ligamentum venosum fissure, right? Uh, inferiorly lies the porta hepatis and superiorly lies your superior surface of the liver, right? So these are some important relations of the caudate lobe. Now what happens is the caudate lobe stretches and is connected to the right lobe by this process right here. I hope you can see and visualize it. This process that links up your caudate lobe to the right lobe, you can see it between the porta hepatis and the caudate lobe. This area right here, this is known as the caudate process. So this is the caudate process. And uh, the caudate lobe to the left inferior side has another process. This is known as the papillary process. Next, what we have is the quadrate lobe. The quadrate lobe is lying on the inferior surface of the right lobe of the liver, right? Uh, the quadrate lobe to the right lies the fossa for the gallbladder. Obviously, the gallbladder is shown here, but normally in the liver, this is the fossa for the gallbladder, all right? This is lying to the right of the quadrate lobe. To the left of the quadrate lobe, this is the ligamentum teres fissure, all right? And if you see it like this, anterior to the quadrate lobe, the anterior boundary is made by this inferior border right here. And posteriorly is the porta hepatis, all right? Let's talk about the porta hepatis. Now, porta hepatis is the this five centimeter deep transverse fissure. Basically, a fissure is any gap where any uh, organ or any uh, structure of the body is going to lie, right? So the porta hepatis in this case, these are the important structures that enter the liver and exit the liver. So what are these structures? The structures that enter the liver include the portal vein, the hepatic artery, and the hepatic plexuses of nerves. And the structures that leave the liver are the, uh, the hepatic ducts and the few lymphatics, all right? Within the porta hepatis, what you will see is the porta hepatis from posterior to anterior, most posteriorly your portal vein will lie and anterior to that will lie your hepatic artery and the most anterior most structure will be the he hepatic ducts. So that was the porta hepatis, right? So that was mostly all you need to know about the right lobe. Uh, what about the left lobe? The left lobe is uh, forming about one sixth of the entire liver, whereas the uh, right lobe was constituting more and that was like five sixths of the liver, right? So it's a small uh, lobe. The only important part of the left lobe is that on its uh, inferior surface, you can see just close to your quadrate lobe, it has this elevation called the tuber omentel. That is where the lesser momentum will attach. So that was uh, mostly all you needed to know about the structure of the liver, which was very important. Now you know the structure of liver. These things won't confuse you anymore. They definitely look confusing, but they're not anymore. So uh, we can label it very quick. So this is the right lobe of the liver. We all know the right lobe will always be a little lower. Uh, apart from that, this is the left lobe going towards the back. This is a posterior surface. In the posterior surface, what we can see is this is the bare area of the liver, which we'll talk about in a while. This is the groove of inferior vena cava. And to the left of it is this is the caudate lobe. Uh, to the left of this, this is the ligamentum venosum fissure. Uh, going to the inferior surface, what we're going to visualize is this porta hepatis right here. And beneath that is the quadrate lobe. To the right lies the fossa for gallbladder. To the left lies the ligamentum teres fissure. In the next video, we're going to talk about the peritoneal and visceral relations of the liver. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching.